All right, give me one second. I'm getting set up. It will be real brief. However, um, I want to start addressing this in the mystery schools. Um, there were different beings. And there's a group of beings that, like how you have a mother, they have a group of mothers. And they were born in or conceived in a, a birthing center. And there was still a sacral energy exchange that had to take place in order for these beings to, to come into existence. There still had to be a sacral energy exchange. And that's what I want to kind of focus on today. In, in the future episodes, I'll go into more of the story. But a sacral energy exchange, which you call sex, can happen in many ways. And there's three ways I'm going to point out here. One way, of course, is the way that most people know. You know, the birds and the bees, a man and a woman lays down or stands up or whatever and does their thing. And then second, there's another way or a sacral energy exchange that can take place where a male that may be so so called isolated can actually have a, a ejaculation or orgasm or whatever you want to call it and this can be contained not only the semen I'm saying but the energy that's emitted can be contained and distributed amongst different women that's one way and then there's another way there's a few other ways but these are the main ways I'm going to point out and then there's another sacral energy exchange where you, a man or a woman, actually has a sacral energy exchange with the planet, with, with the planet Earth. And this is a really deep sacral energy exchange because this is when you go into certain parts of the Earth and not just meditate, but you have what's called an orgasmic experience. It might even be better than an orgasm. And it doesn't matter, you know, how you do this, there's several ways to go about having this experience, of which I'll talk about in future episodes, but there is a way to have a sacral energy exchange with the earth, with the planet, and to create, to procreate, that's right, to procreate, to produce animals. People don't want to believe this, but like, everything that you see, every animal that you see, comes from our creation, it's called third creation. Like all the animals or whatever. And the animals that you see come from the mind's eye. Our ability to create the third eye. So at some point, some higher being created all of these animals. Whether it was one, two, three, or four, at some point on this planet Earth, in order you call it evolution, that's jibber jacking. There's actually a way to evolve this planet in no time, like a microwave almost, like the way heating food up in a microwave versus cooking it in the oven. There's a way to evolve this planet in no time and to slow it down too as well. However, this all comes from what's called the sacred energy exchange. And I'll go more into certain stories about this in future episodes. You guys stay vigilant.